Welcome. I have a message for you on today. Yes. Yes, I got a message for you. I hope you're listening. The will of the Father. Let's pray. Father God, we come before your throne of grace and mercy, Lord God. Lord God, you are worthy of all honor, of all praise, and of all glory. We keep none for ourselves, O oh Lord. We thank you in advance, Father God, for delivering of your word, Lord God, and the protection that you provide your children on today, O oh Lord. Lord, we pray for families all over the world, Lord God. Heal hearts and set minds free. We call it done in Jesus' name, Father God. Father, use me. I submit myself unto you. It's in your son Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. The will of the Father. The will of the Father. We have John 4, 34 through 38. My food is... Jesus said to them, is to obey the will of the one who sent me and to finish the work he gave me to do. Excuse me. You have a saying for more mouths and then the hearts. But I tell you, take a good look at the fields, the crops, are now ripe and ready to be harvested. The one who reaps the harvest is being paid and gather and gather crops for eternal life. And so the one who plants and the one who reaps will be glad together. For the saying is true, someone plants, someone else reaps. I have sent you to reap a harvest in a field where you did not work. Others work there and you profit from their work. The will of the father. The will of the father should always be for us to do that which he has called us to do. The spreading of his word. Helping others out in the field. Whether that is teaching. Whether that is preaching. Evangelizing. Whatever it is. It is to do the will of the one who sent us. And there is a harvest. There is a harvest. There is planting. There is reaping. And there is a harvest. And right now, with us being in harvest season, many of us are seeing our miracles right before our eyes. Our promises being fulfilled right before our eyes. The Lord is doing a mighty work. Yes, he is. And he is being glorified in the earth. And he is drawing men unto him by using us as we utilize the energy he's given us, the word he's given us to share, the desire he's given us to share, the truth that he has given us to see. God is faithful, y'all. Don't be deceived out of your blessing because of the testing. Do not be deceived. Do your part and watch God bring up the rear. Or shall I say, 
watch God bring it all to the forefront for you. Okay? Do not be deceived by what others are doing. Don't get caught up in their stuff. Okay? Because we know that the world is in chaos, but you don't have to be. Listen, you can use sound judgment. You can make sound decisions, my brothers and sisters. Everything does not have to end in war. Do the will of the Father. If that is what he is calling you to, do your part. Do your part. Trust God with the rest. I pray that you and your families are safe on today and sound. All is well. Know that Father God loves you. Yes, he does. He loves you. He cares for you very deeply. Let him speak because he's speaking. Know that he loves you on today. And so do I. I'm sending you light and healing energy in Jesus name. I pray this message builds you up in your most holy faith. Please share this message, like or subscribe, and I will see you back soon, my sisters and brothers. Thank you.